Hello Gaming and welcome back Pokemon Scarlet. So where we left off, I had just made it into the new area. Going around catching a whole bunch of new friends. There's only one thing that I really need from this area and then I think I'm probably going to move forward and go to the next Titan Pokemon. And the thing that I need is this Dawn Stone that's hidden in this place. So that we could evolve our, our favorite duo. Get our Carlia to, uh, or our, our Saber to evolve into, um, what's it called? Uh, Gally! We forgot you have Poison Point, don't you? Of course, Neon doesn't work. Oh, good, it shed its poison. See? You just gotta keep poisoning yourself and preventing yourself from being put to sleep, aren't you? But you're also not gonna take damage from the poison. Okay, apparently shed skin works only once. Good to know. So we're just gonna do some light taps here again. Oh, we can hit you with a hard, devastating thing, because you're already poisoned. So I can't put you to sleep. Well, I was hoping that we'd get you in the red, but let's see if this is enough. There we go, so cobra. I like Silcobra, I hate its evolved form. Absolutely what I said he did. Alright. Into the box with you. Now that's probably one that I'm missing from... No, 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 I think you can catch their evolved form in the desert. So... So I was like, do I have that Pokemon? in my Pokédex in Violet, because I'm trying to complete the Pokédex in Violet. And for the most part, I just need version exclusives. Well, I need to switch you out for Hershey. Okay. Let's take this little thing on. Put you to, oh, never mind, poison point. Can't put you to sleep now. Alright. I gotta see how much damage this does. Okay, let's see. Okay, good enough. That's what I needed to know. Alright, Caparaja. Or er, not Caparaja. I can never remember what the pre-evolved form is called. Q-Fent. Fate. Q-Fent? Q-Fent. I was right. Okay, I'm gonna switch out with Hershey one more time. Let's see if we can- oh boy. Already rolling out, which means you're already poisoned, right? Oh, you're not poisoned. Let's see if I can put you to sleep before you get poisoned. Okay. Getting drowsy. See what a bulldoze will do to you. Not very effective, but it becomes more effective as time goes on. Okay. Bulldoze is very powerful against these Pokemon. Two cents. Alright, if I remember correctly. A Dawn Stone that I'm looking for. 
should be somewhere around here. Yeah. Actually, I think I passed it already. Again, fully collate. This time we're going to try more poison. Actually, I'm going to switch with. I hope so. You're probably going to destroy that. Let's send it mouse out. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I think I, I fixed the name on Mouse Mouse. Also, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, Bullet Seed will do a lot soon. One shot dead. Okay. you before you explode. Hopefully you don't explode before. Do I have a quick ball? I do have a quick ball. I'm just gonna throw this quick ball. Hopefully you stay in it. Don't want you exploding. There you go. Voltorb and Electrode are known for exploding. They tend to do so. They'll even Voltorb will even explode in the overworld at this point. So you know that they're difficult to to grab. If they'll explode in the overworld. Oh, wow, this place is littered with items. There's another oval stone. Not that I need it. Don't fall. There we go. Vin Vinoshock. I need that on Hershey. There's the Dawn Stone. Alright. I hate this thing. But I'm gonna catch it anyway because Pokedex. Tell you what. I'll let you try and survive an Aqua Cutter. Never mind. I'm not even upset about it. Alright, hold on. Alright, so now that we officially have our Dawnstone, let's head back to the party Pokemon. We're going to switch out Hershey for you. I'm going to switch out salt for you. Okay. Saber and Witchcraft are back on the team. And we're immediately going to give Saber his Dawnstone. Wow, I don't have many evolution stones. And there we go. We have ourselves a Gallade. Alright, save it. Looking good. Wonderful. Try and pick someone and stand its elbows as if they were swords and fight savagely. Yes, it does. Hey, of course you can learn Slash. In fact, I expect you to learn Slash. Can you train? No set fly beam. No more. Tell you what. 
Once we have double team, we'll get rid of hypnosis. I want to keep green and kiss for now. It's mostly simply because... Uh, I want... Uh, I want something to heal my Pokemon. Alright, now. I don't do that. Should it witchcraft? Okay. Wouldn't that be great if she found I have this one battle? There we go, back to sleep. She's draining kids to get my HP back and hopefully not do too much damage to the elf. That was nice. Great ball. Chit chat. Hey, got ourselves a meow. Wonderful. Scratch cat Pokemon. Into the boxes with you. Oh, which reminds me. We got to switch back to regular boxes, so we need to put me out. Box number three. There we go. All right. So now there's lots of items and things around this area. Still need to catch a roly coli. I used to get a roly coli before I move on. Mostly because I've already caught its evolved form. And if it's out of order, it's gonna bug me. Okay, let's go with that. Same plan as before. Steam engine. So first we'll put you to sleep with hypnosis. I'm really glad that she hasn't messed with hip or hypnosis at all. Okay, fast sleep. And now we'll use a breathing kiss to restore health. Okay, do less damage than last time, but that's okay. Do one more training kit. Unless, of course, Roly Coley wakes up. So, back to sleep with you. Of course it did. I had to mention that I was so glad that the gnosis isn't missing. And of course it misses. Than, uh, which belt? Oh, you have to stop avoiding the attack. I need you to go to sleep. Thank you. You increased my speed. Hypnosis works again. Straining kiss again. Because we need the HP back at this point. And that should be more than enough to catch it and still sleep good. Alright, another great bone.
Alright, I need to replenish my Great Ball. Hey, Miss Joy leveled up. Bull Toy. Send the boxes. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nurse Joy is evolving. There we go, we got ourselves a Chansey. Chansey is a fantastic Pokemon to have on your team. It's just like Azumarill, it's a tank. But Chansey's HP can become absolutely tremendous. So, that is a Larvitar right there. Come here, you. I need you. Okay. Strong button. Then let's send out Witchcraft again. Same strat as before. Larvitar was actually one of my favorite Pokemon in the edition that it came out in. I love Tyranitar as a Pokemon. But I ended up not using it much after that. So <laughs> Nurses, go to sleep, please. I don't need you hurting me anymore. HP is already very, very low. Okay, so we're gonna drain and kick. Hopefully get back enough HP to survive another attack while keeping you asleep for at least one or two more turns. Good. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Do another draining kiss and then we'll throw Pokeballs. Larvitar is definitely going to be joining our team, by the way. At the very least, we'll be putting party Pokemon. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to use an Ultra Ball. Heck yeah. Larvitar was caught. Alright. So what are we gonna name this little guy? Larvitar nicknamed, yes. We are gonna name you... No, that's a stupid, that's a stupid, that's stupid. Get that out of my head. No, not gonna do that. Alright, um... Let's see... Rock bug... What should we name it? How about... We need you. I'm gonna name you Giggle. Right. We're gonna send you to the boxes for now. We'll pull you out of there right now. Right. Come here, Giggle. First, we'll put you in a party Pokemon. Alright, we're going to switch out. Switch out mouse cells for now. We'll bring them back later on. I know Giga takes a long time to evolve. It doesn't evolve until level 50 if I remember correctly. So it's got a long way to go. It's not my intention to run into you. Let's 
Not a great ball, always good. What a special curly eye, yes it is. Alright, let's head in this direction. Got a little ways to go. Probably head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Just because I won't check. Since there were two groupings there, there's always the possibility of one of them being a shiny. That is not the case. <laughs> I wish it were, but it's not. Alright, I'm gonna drop back here, heal everybody up. And then we're gonna go find us a Titan Pokemon. There we go. Alright. So, let's head back into the mountains. Or the canyons, whatever they're called, the mines. And we're gonna go find ourselves the next Titan Pokemon. Still lots to explore around here, and I'll probably get to that off, uh, off video. Yo, Juliana! So somewhere in one of the mines that are, that are out here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that things staggeringly, things staggeringly huge and feel long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Well, it's a good thing the last Titan Pokemon I fought made this Pokemon even faster, isn't it? Ah, Steel-type Pokemon. Excuse me. I'll show you how strong and sturdy steel type Pokemon can be. Okay. I'm happy to battle you. Except if you're using that. See what I well, I already know that non best move can take out of the room with one hit, so. Yeah, no problems here. There we go, thank you all of that. We're all out of EA. Did you already know how to get around Steel-type Pokemon's sturdy strength? Yes. But that's not what I did there. Steel-types don't have all that many weaknesses and they can't be poisoned. They'll get powered if Fighting-type moves... By Fighting-type moves, though. Plus, fire type moves melt them down. Yep. I don't know why fighting type works against steel type. Because it seems to me like steel type would break the hand of a fighting type Pokemon, but fire type makes sense. Alright, little one. Gosh, it was amazing. Oh my gosh. I saw something amazing! Wanna know what it was? Yes. Yes, I do. Lee. Lee. Lea. Student. Snowbird. So sorry that you have Snowbird. Weak against eight things, if I remember correctly. Eight. Maybe six. I forgot about your snow warning though. Oop, should have used the other move. Hmm. It's a good thing I got a pretty decent defense then. How are you suddenly faster than me? Or did I sure always go first? 
First, I want to come up here and take care of this tower and also this Pokemon trainer. Are you a fan of sad songs? Or not so much. My personal opinion is they're okay, I guess. She's right, cowboy hat. I had to give her a southern accent. Alright. Bug type, we run these, and this is the only Pokemon she has. Here we go. Nice battle with you. It's a sad, sad loss in a sad, sad world. Tra la la la. Okay then. <laughs> Just theory of mine, but I think cheery people tend to be more fond of sad songs. Okay then. I don't know if that's true, but... I wonder if that's the Titan Pokemon. Yes. Just so you know, that is the Titan Pokemon over there. Okay. Up here. Uptown Girl. I just found out that song is turning 40 years old. There's another Larvitar down there. But, oh I forgot, this is a three tier tower. Ooh, XP candy, always good to, to have on hand. In case you need to emergency evolve something. The item up here, another Max Ether, Elixir, always gonna have, and more Gimme Ghoul coins. Alright, little buddy, I'm gonna aqua step all over you. There we go. Thank you for your contribution to my funds. And down. I do that is because every time I try to get back onto uh, the ladders, I always end up falling anyway. Hey, get back to you. Come here. Tiny girl, and you are a giant submarine. Okay, here we go. Plus one, the lurking steel titan. Okay, we're gonna work up. There we go, 
attack and special attack. Headbutt doesn't do much. It's aqua step. Okay, not bad. It's not done, but not bad. Alright, we'll do this aqua cutter to take you out the rest of the way. And once again, it freezes. But, of course, this is a Titan Pokemon battle. So we go after it. This takes us out into the quarry where we were, that we rode past before. Hey, buddy. You're not gonna get away. You know this, right? Come here. Here we go. Starts eating. Another Mr. Dollars. There he is. Arvin. Juliana, you managed to pin down the Titan? That's the lurking steel Titan? It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Juliana. Sure, Jet. First things first, I'm going to toss out a substitute. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is going to taste good, even with my Toad School. Toad School. Wrap. This isn't going to do much to substitute. Oh good. Here's it. Very nice. Alright, let's work up. I think we're gonna work up twice this time. That is assuming the substitute lasts another turn. I forgot I was confused. That doesn't matter, I landed the headbutt. I'm guessing... Oh, it lasted another turn. Defense actually fell. Ooh. That means I'm just gonna aqua step this. Fence down and I attack up. You should equal one and done. There we go. Earthworm fresh painted. Sorry, big guy. Well done, Launchpad. There we go, everybody leveled up. Well, not everybody, but half the team leveled up. Alright. Now it's time for Arvin's brooding backstory. We did it, Juliana. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. You could catch one and put it on your team. And then if we go in here, we'll find more of that Urba Mystica in 8 before. Let's go find it before that thing can regrow. Here we go. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it! It really is here! This is one of the herbs, make no mistake! Even 
Arvin found Shulky of a Mystica. Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Juliana! Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Well, apparently, Shulky of a Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neurotherapy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. If I could just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Juliana? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. And Bob's your uncle. Considering he makes all those yells and noises whenever he uh, cooks something, I'm fairly sure Narvin's probably a descendant from Link from The Legend of Zelda. Here you go, my special whimsical Urbfeld Super Sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Thank you for your homemade badge. Looking Steel Titan defeated. Oh, come on, you again! And of course, he wants my sandwich. Do you want to give your sandwich to Karide on? Here you go. <laughs> it is, is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. Definitely absolutely did not make ex make extra so that Coridon could have a sandwich, okay? No, no, no. And there it is. High jump! Did it grow stronger again? Yes, it did. Man, these Herbal Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean... They better, or else I'm really up the creek. Sniff, sniff. Idea? Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Huh, yeah, what's going on? Oh, uh, sorry, I should have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Juliana. Come on out, bud. This is Mabos... Mabo... Mabosta, my partner. Agia? Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now, take your time. Small bites are fine, just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things don't work? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. My boss to fear is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. And that's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. That book, what is it? I found it in my mom's lab. Herba Mystica. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest the herbs, we were eaten by Pokemon. 
which in turn grew large and strong, we call these Titan Pokemon. It has a book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody would usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabel Stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate the, that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eaten, bud? Me, my boss stiff. Can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's, it's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I, I'm so, I'm so glad. Ah, oh, boy and his dog. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. Now that these herbs are is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my my bone stiff back to full health, I swear it. Oh uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go, let's find them together. You got it. And now a call from... Attractive Milk Professor. Professor Attractive Milk. There we go, that's better. Hello, Juliana, this is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Okay. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Karina. Alright, Genin. That does it for this session of Pokemon Scarlet. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day.